Hey, what's up everybody? This is Patrick from WP Builder Helper. I hope you guys are doing all right. I know that a bunch of people with the coronavirus are going through tough times right now. So I just wanted to kind of reach out. I know that, you know, I haven't had videos on for the last month and a half. I have also run into the issues that everybody else has run into with the coronavirus. My company recently furloughed us, so I get to be furloughed, which means more videos for you, which I guess is a good thing and not a bad thing. So if you're interested, we're going to take and we're going to start diving back into the stuff. There's been a lot of stuff going on during this whole corona epidemic. And so I wanted to take and dive into this and go into what's been going on on the back end and what you can kind of expect. Um, I, I reached out to this 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 guy actually reached out to me um, from Live Canvas. It was the team behind Live Canvas, and they kind of said, "Hey, we want you to look at our page builder. Just take and kind of give us your feedback on it, and you know, no payment, nothing like that. I don't like to do those type of things. I kind of feel obligated." They just kind of wanted feedback on it, and so I told them I would do a couple videos on it because I think it's pretty cool. There's a lot of things in here. I'm not going to do a full review, but if you've never heard of Live Canvas, it's another page builder that has just come out on the market. Um, I actually don't know how long they've been out on the market, but I know the team behind it is very, very cool. I like the idea behind it. I think the idea behind it is solid. It's a page builder built on the Bootstrap 4 framework and it's got great framework behind it the ideas behind it are very very good you can see it's got some some css and html that's built in here and it's got some animations and things like that which make it really really cool looking like just looking at this this page is really cool the difference between live canvas and some of the other page builders is unlike other page builders from what I've gathered, there's, like they say right here, no extra CSS or JSS bloat added, just pure Bootstrap 4. So most of the pages when you're using this are built with just standard HTML and CSS blocks. Like that's how you build the pages, which that's one of the more pure ways of building a page in WordPress. If you want to custom build everything and you want to, let's say, write everything yourself, that's great. And there are some people who are going to want to do that. This kind of bridges the gap between that. The best way that I could put it is it's like a, I would say if it, it's, it's weird, it's going to offend web developers, but it's going to make more sense. So if you've ever played with something like Dreamweaver, then you know what this is. This is essentially like a Dreamweaver for WordPress where you can take and you can custom build your pages, add in things like this, icons and everything, and by that, you're custom coding the pages. So if you actually go up and look at some of these, these editing, I wish I could show you the editing. It's probably got music in it because there's not a lot of talking I've noticed, but the pages themselves are built pretty cool i'll give you a little mini demo so here's an example so you've got your top live features that are going on and then at the bottom you've got your html and your css code and you can kind of go in and you can kind of edit that that's really unique and really cool um oxygen has this a little bit and i know some of the other builders have some some areas for css and and stuff like that but generally they don't dive into the html code that's something that's very unique with this builder. You don't get a lot of HTML code and stuff like that. You're not usually allowed to take and go through and edit things with the code, like the actual HTML. And this builder really just allows that to happen. And I just noticed that this was made with Live Canvas. That is so cool. So this is an example of Live Canvas and these are pages built with it and you can see I can hover over this so this isn't an, an, an animation or a a vector icon or anything like that this is actually text that's been rotated using CSS and then it's got like this gradient effect to it which is that's really really cool that's neat the way they did that and then you've got some effects here things like that so this is a designer that kind of they did an interview with him and then they've got some pricing, and this pricing is is very on par with all the other um, 
the other page builders out there. As a matter of fact, I would dare say that this pricing is pretty pretty cheap for what it's worth. I mean, $79 per year is not a whole lot for unlimited websites. That's something that you don't. And of course, you get updates for a year and support for a year. But then you look at the lifetime for your company, and for 200 you get unlimited websites, unlimited support. I mean, this is, this is really cool. And of course, they've got a 30-day money-back guarantee. So if we keep going through this, I'm not going to go through too much and do a real deep dive into this I'm going to save that for another video where I kind of compare it to other page builders but I just wanted to tell you why you're gonna like this and what you what the web designers out there the people who are interested in hand coding their websites are gonna love this this is a product specifically for them and it's cool because it allows you to take and use live canvas to take and you know minimize the bloat saving pain inside by by the HTML field the team behind this obviously did a very good job on this it works with uh, Gutenberg it integrates with plugins you can use you can use whatever theme you want to but every um, bootstrap for base theme we recommend using understrap understrap they recommend using that because they have this this theme up here called custom strap and custom strap allows you more flexibility if you wanted to custom build your pages and like I said I'm gonna dive into that into the, in the review that I end up doing this is just giving you an overview it says does live canvas add JavaScript or CSS to the site zero none at all no extra CSS or JavaScript is added to your site no inline style or scripting is added the main philosophy behind live canvas is to help build extremely and I think that's supposed to be DYI sites if I had to guess it says dry sites but I'm pretty sure that's supposed to be DYI um, but this is this is really cool so I started playing with this just to get an idea of it and, I, and I've had it for like over a month and then the coronavirus hit and like I said I, they reached out to me and they said hey would you mind looking at this and seeing what you think of it and give us your feedback and I started playing with it and I just dove into it really really quickly but let's give you an overview so we have a live canvas site and we're actually using their specific custom strap here this custom strap file because it gives you a lot more options so it gives you a lot more you know flexibility with your with your design and everything like that but if you go in here I'll add a new page so let's add a new page real quick and we're just going to say we're just going to call this an example and see how this works so let's add this as an example and you can see right here it says enable live canvas editor so we're gonna click yes on that and we're gonna click publish and let's publish this first and then we're gonna go into live canvas and let's kinda open it up I like this this loading animation they did a good job with that so this is one of the pages that I've already kind of played with and you can see I was really playing with it so this is actually the footer that I destroyed um, but for the sake of this video let's just take a look at how sections work and stuff like that so if you add a section you have ready-made uh, stuff right here so you've got hero sections you've got content you've got features feature sections that you can add and these are all custom made and they also come in light and dark which like I told you before in one of my videos I really like when they offer this type of light and dark I think that that's really cool you've got some gallery sections you've got some CTAs you've got some team sections pricing tables if you want to build some pricing tables and which you can see I think this is the pricing table that they use on their website themselves so they're using their own stuff that's really really neat and then you've got footers so obviously if you want to build your own footers you can build your own footers I think that that's coming soon um, from what I've been told we're going to be getting headers and footers so this is my footer right now and it looks terrible because I was just playing with the actual builder but they're going to be adding more uh, footer and headers and if you want to build yourself like let's say you want to just build you can build using this so you can see we have a one column here a two column four columns three columns or you could build with two different columns so they've got different column layouts that you could use so if we just pick one column 
it should load up so now you can see we have one column you've got your one column here you've got your block containers and rows um, this is this is pretty neat I like the way they did this although it's very reminiscent of other builders um, I like the way everything just kind of when you click on it it's very easy to reach you don't have to fight to get to it like it shows up and it's easy to reach so then you can choose a block so we can go in here and we can choose uh, simple blocks like headers there's some text you can choose image icons buttons block quotes uh, you've got embedded features such as YouTube Vimeo SoundCloud Mixcloud Google Maps which you know all standard blocks and then in here you've got some blurbs cards card overlays alert progress bars button with collapsible I'm not sure what that means so I guess that's like a button with collapsible thing you've got the accordion carousel you've got modal window which is interesting do they actually allow a pop-up open modal you have to set the URL target new window that's interesting I didn't even see this I had no idea that this existed that's really interesting so you've got a modal that you can add so I'm gonna have to dive into that once again this is not supposed to be a a really long video it's just a simple video giving you the idea and then you've got some some short code some HTML some things like that they've got some sample media so I've already played with this a little bit but if you go back into the grid the grid builder you'll see that once you click on this you can kind of throw in your own whatever you want like if you go to your column let's say I want to add a new block I can choose what block I want to add so if I wanted to add something like a let's say a image I can click an image and as you can see I've been playing with this and they give you some some different things but it's cool they give you some unsplash photos so I could look up something like let's say a dog I like dogs I think dogs are cute let's try a dog here and we shall see yep so there we go we got a dog and then you can kind of like unclick that just so that it unhighlights it but apparently that doesn't work and then you can go and you can play with effects so if you want to bring out more yellow tones on the dog you can do that you want to bring out more green tones they've got gamma twists so that's just playing with the gamma hue saturation that's pretty cool looking that's really neat that it allows it to do that that's that's interesting uh, it allows it to be a responsive image or unresponsive image meaning that as it shrinks it'll shrink with the screen whereas if we put responsive image no I don't think it shrinks with the screen let's see it may still shrink shrink with the screen just because of, I haven't saved it let's save it so we said no responsive image and it's still shrinking so I'm not sure what the responsive image does um, I'd have to go through it and see exactly what it does but I like the idea behind this I think live canvas I mean this is this is a fairly new builder I think they've been around only for a short amount of time they still have some work to do on this so like I said I'm not gonna dive into the details of what I think about it just yet I am going to do a review of it like a full review kind of like I've done oxygen and some of the other ones and I'm also gonna pit it against the other builders currently just based upon the features but gotta say I like what I'm seeing I think that this has got some tremendous um, tremendous stuff in it it's just really well done the designers or the company behind it that's done it has done a really good job it's very simple it's not a drag and drop similar to Elementor it's somewhere in between like I said it kind of reminds me a little bit of, of Dreamweaver and like an oxygen it's like this this really really interesting combo series and I really like the, the fact that they've kind of eliminated some of the major complaints from some of the people so you know if you were to take and turn this if you were to turn this off one of the biggest complaints is after I turn off live canvas from building the site what happens and it says while your page lock you in proprietary systems live canvas talks with pure HTML so the basic answer is yes you can do that but we feel that it makes very little sense as a live canvas plugin does not slow down your site in any way that's cool that you're basically not stuck with you know things like 
you're not stuck with these pre-built widgets or whatever or lines of code you can turn it off and your site is going to look exactly the same as it does before so i think that that's neat i mean this is this is really really interesting and like i said i'm going to deep dive into this this is a terrible looking what i made but it's just an example of what i was playing with when i was playing with it so I hope you guys like this video. I hope y'all are doing good during the coronavirus. I'll have more videos coming out shortly with different stuff. So if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you wouldn't mind subscribing, I would enjoy that. All right. Thank you. And I will see you guys next time.